Hi, my name is Roshan. I'm a senior here at Jesuit, and I'm the captain of the chess team. Um, okay, so we'll start with all the, every time I ask a question, I'll make a move and yeah. you can make a move. Okay. Um, okay, so when did you start playing? Well, I started playing at the age of six. Uh, it was in an after school program. So, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of just started as a thing with some of my friends just for fun after school. Um, and yeah, after a few years, like the person who was leading the club, this coach at the club, actually called my parents and wanted to talk to talk to them and he said that I was actually doing pretty well and after that my parents were like oh maybe we should start looking into this see maybe we should get him actually involved in chess and my dad became my first coach after that and yeah I mean it's been a long journey since then but yeah every step has been fun and full of energy so who inspired you to start playing yeah yeah I mean mainly just my parents, I guess. I mean, my dad was, again, my first coach, and he uh, he played a lot when he was a kid, but never got the chance to really go into tournaments that much. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they, they inspired me to do a lot of the chess that I've done today. So, Tell me about your career, Jay, that kind of started from freshman year to senior. Yeah. Um, well, in freshman year, our Jesuit chess, like, we didn't really have, like, a form chess team. Like, we, we've never won a state championship up to that point. Mm -hmm. So, and it was COVID on top of all that. So, it was a big challenge to kind of put together a team, see if we had enough time to compete for the state championship. But I looked up the database. I looked at what players were playing at Jesuit. I tried to reach out to the people, send emails, figure out who is available to, like, join our team. And the first year, out of nowhere, somehow we won the state championship. And it was very 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 close it was like a half point difference between winning and obviously not getting the state championship title um tell me about your practice schedule what does that look like what does that entail yeah i mean for i guess there are two aspects to this question one is me personally and the other is the team so uh one thing is uh yeah that's a good move by the way um hmm. one thing is for me personally there are two big components to my practice schedule one is my personal, like my own chess thing. And the other is recently, like over the past few years, I've gotten more into teaching. And these two, like, even though they seem like interrelated, like teaching would seem to help your own personal playing. They're actually like two very separate things. Tell me about your foundation, like when you yeah. started it, how that came to be. Yeah, I mean, my foundation started, um, after the North American Open, which was a chess tournament I played around five years ago or so. And this, like the North American Open, it was an international event, all ages, uh, meaning there are plenty of adults in the tournament as well. And it was held in Las Vegas. So it was like a big field, thousands of people. It was a huge hall where the tournament was held. So obviously I went there with like no expectations of winning. And it was a really good event. And by the end, like somehow at the end I got an undefeated score, 6.5 out of 7, and that made me this, uh, the champion of that U2100 section. And the prize money from that was $7,000, which was, again, a huge amount for me at the time. Yeah. And I had to decide what to do with the money. Like there, my parents gave me full freedom, and like I had to figure out what am I going to use this for. And I was thinking about it for a long time, and essentially, like again, this is the founding idea behind Roshanar Foundation, is that that happiness that I felt in that final moment when I made that final move and won that $7,000. That's what I want other kids to feel at the same time. How would you say that Eagle Scouts has impacted your life? Yeah, I think in almost every aspect of my life, Eagle Scout has played a role. Um, one thing is Eagle Scout is not just one thing. It's a six-year journey. And in, through that six-year journey, we learn a series of different types of skills. So obviously, there's those survival skills, like first aid, first aid, wilderness survival, all those types of things. But there are also things like personal management, like how to run an organization. And that's kind of how that was pretty useful in terms of Roshan Our Foundation. And I feel like even in just other things, the type of mindset, the type of work ethic, all of those kind of came from things that I learned while I was an Eagle Scout. Mm -hmm. So... Definitely Boy Scouts is a huge part of this journey. And as far as Roshan Air Foundation goes and that commitment to service, it is one of the starting points for that. Very cool. Hi.
So you just got into Stanford. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. That is Thank amazing. You. Thank you. What do you do? Do you plan on playing chess at Stanford and what is your future kind of hold? Yeah, so at Stanford, like again, it's a really nice relief and such a nice experience to go there. And there, um, I'll have to go there and see the chess team. I'm planning to join the chess club there and we'll figure out how things go. I definitely want to pursue chess both individually and as part of a team. So I'll definitely go there and see. So very cool. That's all the questions I have for you. Thank you. That was yeah. awesome. Thank you. I yeah. really appreciate it. Thanks, Porter.